Hi, this is David Abonic Turtle with a quick look at TIPS or Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, which have been in the news a lot lately because of their attractive properties in the event of deflation. So this spreadsheet's on the website and to illustrate the TIPS, start with the idea that it issues with an original principal or what we call par of $100,000. Now the TIPS attaches with a fixed coupon rate also called a real yield so I looked that up and for the 10 year that is a pretty close to 1% as usual I've rounded numbers just to keep the example simple so our real yield is 1% what do we mean by the real yield well if you look right here the nominal yield which is sometimes is typically what we really mean when we say yield that nominal yield has three components a real yield plus an inflation component plus a risk premium because we're uncertain about what's going to happen with inflation. And so if I looked up, which I did, the treasury yield on a 10-year in nominal terms, it's currently pretty close to 3%. So you can see what we do to compute what's sometimes called a break-even inflation is we take that nominal yield of 3% and we subtract the real yield, which is to say again the fixed coupon rate, on the Treasury Inflation Protected Securities. Then we get a difference of 2%, and that's called the break-even inflation, or in other words, approximately what the market is predicting for inflation, since it's the combination of the real yield and inflation that would give us the nominal yield. Except that I put the asterisk here to remind that there's really three components, not two. So we could say we could argue and look at this 2% and say, well, the, infl the actual prediction for inflation is something less because there's some risk premium built in there because we're uncertain about what will happen to inflation. So in regard to the tips then, what happens? Well, here we go in the column. The column here has uh, the time dimension. So we start at time zero with the 100,000 par. And now we go forward six months in time. And notice here's inflation. And I've got that in yellow as inputs to signify that when we purchase the tips, we don't know what's going to happen to inflation. But we go six months forward, inflation's measured, and importantly, that's going to be per the CPI or consumer price index. So that's just one measure of inflation. It's important to keep in mind that might not be the inflation that matters to us with our investments. But we need a metric for the measurement, and this is what Treasury uses the CPI. So let's assume it comes in with a 3% annualized. These coupon pays every six months, so the semi-annual equivalent is simply half of that. See, that's all I did there. So 1.5%. And now here's the key idea with the Treasury Inflation Protected Security. The coupon is fixed. It is the principle that is adjust adjusted. So what we end up here in this column is what's called inflation-adjusted principle. So notice, 3% inflation comes in annually. Semi-annually, that's 1.5%. And so we simply adjust the principal from the original par of 100,000 up to 101,500 because that's what happened with inflation. And now we go back to that same fixed coupon, again, the real yield, which was 1% annual. Again, we're at the six month mark, so it's just half of that, half a percent. And so the coupon then here pays the inflation adjusted principal multiplied by that same fixed coupon, 1% annual, half a percent semi-annual. So you notice the coupon here is not the round 500, it's a little higher because our principal's adjusted. Now we go forward to the end of the year and let's just say inflation goes up at 4%, so semi-annually it's 2%, and again, that inflation adjusted principal. The principal was 101,500, it's going to get multiplied by 1 plus the 2%. So our principal is getting is growing. Inflation adjusted principal is again the basis for the same fixed coupon of 1%. But because the principal's higher, we're now getting a higher coupon. And that's why we bought the instrument. The instrument's paying us a higher coupon because inflation's going up. Inflation goes back down. The uh, principal's going to again get adjusted and we've got a coupon payment. So the attractive feature that I mentioned in the event of deflation is the fact that let's say we go forward and way, way forward in time, 10 years, and we experience that deflation, 
well then mathematically or technically the principal could go fall below the par so it's just a feature it's just an attractive feature of the bond that that final principal is redeemed at the greater of the inflation adjusted principal and the initial par value in this case 100,000 so if deflation brought that principal down to say 90,000 or 85,000 this maximum function kicks in and this final redemp redemption principle is the original 100,000 par. So this has been used for an argument as to why there's a, why these are attractive and the market's tolerating some almost negative yields. But other than that feature, again, key idea, the basis for the inflation adjustment is not what we experience, what we think it is. It's that CPI measure and the coupon is fixed. It's an inflation adjusted principle that's key to the uh, Treasury Inflation Protected Security. This is David Harper, the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.